Hello folks, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and today I wanted to show you a neat little item that I got from a uh, friend and it's on loan, I'm not going to keep it, but um, it's, well let's just say it takes a little bit and no, it's not this. See this? I just want to stop for a second and show you this. This is not what I'm going to show you. I have a real, actual, neat radioactive item to show you in just a minute, but first look at this thing. I found it at a grocery store. Doesn't it look just like Vaseline glass? Yeah, it's not lame either because I actually do own Vaseline glass, so it's not like this is my pretend Vaseline. Well, it is my pretend Vaseline glass, but I have real stuff too. But I like this one because it's plastic, see? And as a result of being plastic, um, I can. Uh, it doesn't tick. Well, it'll probably get some background, but you know what I mean? It's not like ticking or anything. So I can put candies in it and stuff, and people will look at it and wonder, is that radioactive? I know he plays with radioactive stuff. Is that radioactive? And they won't know. So anyway, that's awesome fun. But uh, now let me show you what I actually got. First and foremost, uh, let me put on my protection. Now some of you might say to yourself, why the hell does he need protection? When you see the item, you'll probably think to yourself that I don't need protection. But um, I like protection. First off, let me show you a non-radioactive uh, non chain type item here. Here's a little watch. I like my watch. It's, it's really cool. It pops open and it shows you the time. I use it all the time. Pops open in the back and it has, it's, it's nice looking. It, um, it even has little, um, let me see if I can come into focus at all. It even has little gems and jewels in it. It's nice. You've probably seen it in my time lapse photography. But let me show you this interesting little gem. This little guy is from, uh, what, 19, oh, what time is it, 1919, I think it is, 1917, something like that. It's a little early for most radium, but then again, it still is radium. Notice I'm currently at 24 counts per minute. My background's normally 14. I'm already picking up a little bit from the radium. Now let me open the box up and show it to you. I'm a really good friend where I work. Let me borrow this. It belonged to uh, someone in her family. Was it her grandfather? I can't recall. I'm so terrible at things. I apologize to you when you watch this video. Thank you for letting me borrow your object. Sorry, I can't remember the details. I'm terrible. Anyway, it says on it... Um, it says on it... 1917. And it says... Denison Birmingham VI... Four five two five four. Vi mean must mean six. And there's a little shape on the top here, which looks like a little tent with a little line up the middle of it, like a teardrop. That's a little compass. Now, is it radioactive? I think. I think yes. So far we're at 97 counts per minute. The reason we're so low is because of the metal on the front. It's mostly alpha radiation, so it's not very dang dangerous to me. It has a more of a contamination hazard, hence the gloves, because you notice at just an inch or two it's almost completely gone again. Now let's leave this here for a few seconds and see what we get. Wow, that's neat. 308. 328. Let's go higher, though. Let me put this here for a second. Pull this off. 380. I think we get up to four or 500 like that. But let's take this now. And um, I am, of course, as you all know, super duper paranoid of radioactive things. And so let me... Um, pop this open but while holding the bag the whole time. Hmm. Not wanting to open. So let me get out a metal object here and cause it to want to open. There. There we go. And as you can see when you look inside of it, it is very definitely a compass. And it still mostly works, too. 
let's see how radioactive it is. Oops, let's turn this around. It is now significantly higher than it was. the globes. Four hundred and eighty six, five twenty eight, five seventy one, six fourteen, six six seven, seven oh six, seven forty nine. 795, 842, 886, 993, 939, excuse me, 948, 947, if we get just the right spot, we can go over a thousand. right over the needle. There we go, a thousand right on the dot. Right on the dot. Oops, oh, dropping already. It was a thousand and seven. Now, as you can see, that's quite hot. Now let's move this here, place this here. And let me give it to you a different way. Let me cut the Geiger counter off, and I'm going to cut the Geiger counter on again, but this time I'm going to have it pointed right at the object, so you can let it just count. And it will slowly count its way up. Now let me hold it like this. Now it's just counting. We're counting the number of uh, events we get. Wow. We're at 1249, or no, 1240 something there for a second. Now this thing isn't beeped, so it hasn't given us a statistical average yet. But I'm sure it'll get there in a minute. Thousand it counts again. And as you all know, you cannot use millisieverts or microsieverts or millirankins for this because this is calibrated for cesium-137, and what we're looking at right here is definitely radium. I think we are high enough to use count, uh, counts per second. Let me just quickly modify the Geiger counter so that we're on counts per second. And um, let me do that quickly. And now we'll be in counts per second. per second, folks. You never get a chance to use it normally? Now you can. Don't want to get the camera too close. The alpha could actually damage the CCD in my camera. Now let's do the acid test for alpha. Paper. You're just getting a little bit of probably gamma or something right now. Honestly, put a lot of the alpha is probably being blocked by the window. Well, thanks for watching.